Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to present a simple step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Google Meet on your online class or online face-to-face -face transaction either single or multiple participants. Just pay attention and listen to this short and understandable tutorial for Google Meet. First, you have to create your Google account on Gmail. I am assuming that you already have your Gmail account. Run a web browser. In this tutorial, I'm using Microsoft Edge browser. Others using Google Chrome, Opera, Mozilla Firefox, and Safari for Mac PC. On the browser, Click plus sign to proceed with a new tab or new window. On the URL, type www.gmail.com, then press enter. Log in to your Gmail account to access your Gmail. I'm using my Gmail account to access Gmail for this tutorial. Log in name, then click next. Password. Then next. On the Gmail environment, on the upper right corner of the screen, Look for a dotted symbol named Google Apps. Click Google Apps and look for a Meet icon. If you cannot see the Meet icon, scroll the slide bar. You can see Google Calendar and Google Drive and many other apps. Then click the Meet to enter into Google Meet window. Now, this is a Google Meet environment. As you can see, no scheduled meeting. If you want to schedule your meeting ahead of time, use the Google Calendar found in the Google Apps in Gmail to remind your scheduled meeting every time you access to Google Meet. Or you can link to your smartphone by installing Google Meet and Google Calendar. Now, click join or start a meeting. Enter any meeting ID because it is needed. Then, click continue. Wait for the camera to initialize and open. Mute your camera and microphone by clicking camera and microphone icons to avoid humming sound when the participant enters the meeting. Two buttons can be selected but do not select a present now because there are no participants in your meeting. Click join now to enter your host meeting. A window appears that displays joining in picture and send to your participants via FB Messenger or through text. But best practice if you click copy joining info and open your email account. Click Compose, right click the mouse and paste the joining info to the body of your email. Add recipients. If you have only one participant expected for the meeting, 
type directly the email address, then send. But if multiple participants expected to join like 50 students or more, you have to include the email address to your student in a notepad application and save it to the desktop. In this tutorial, I have already created the email of my students. Open the file and highlight the text by pressing Ctrl A, then click edit, then click copy. Go back to the email, add draft, right click the mouse in the recipient and paste, click and send, and go back to the Google Meet. Close joining info window. Wait for the participants join automatically or needs your approval to enter the meeting. You can turn on and off the captions. To display the screen conversation if somebody's talking if you want to present your PowerPoint presentation or whatever application you want to share with your participants click present now then the entire screen and click screen if you want to share but this time we, ha we have to cancel first because there's no participants yet all your screen will be displayed to all your participants monitors To customize the display of the entire screen, click this button. Click change layout or force clean or turn off captions or whatever buttons you like. So click change layout and then select tiled. Then again select layout you can view the number of participants present and you can also chat with them along with the meeting then close the conversation this is essential for the students and teachers in an online class because Google Meet allows multiple participants for free with no time restriction for more tutorials on using other essential software for different applications watch my other video tutorials on my channel like subscribe and share thank you for watching it Bye-bye.